guys, my name's Kelsey and I'm making a video today, well you already know what it is because it's the caption of the video. Anyway, it has been a like, massive request of mine because I don't talk much about my MX-5. I have had it for quite a while now but I've pretty much just been looking after it because when I brought it, it was a shed. I mean don't get me wrong, it's a shed anyway. But it needed a lot of work doing to it and um, everyone was asking me about it, what I wanted to do with it and how it's going and I just didn't have much to say at the time but I'm finally going to make this video because I've got loads of ideas for it and I just want to make some videos for you guys so I thought an introduction would be convenient. So I've got loads of things to talk to you about this MX-5 um, but I'm not going to stay on my driveway because that's boring so we're going to take it out for a drive, I'm going to talk to you about loads of different things, show you loads of clips of the car and I've also asked on my Instagram a whole bunch of questions that people want to know about the MX-5 so I will also go through them. I hope you enjoy this video and take care. friends <laughs> hi guys so i'm back here i am next to a tunnel because i will be going for it at some point and i will record it for you guys um i'm gonna try and speak really loudly because there are cars going by this road um we have chosen a really good time of day but i've got to be quick because the sun is setting anyway so my mx5 i bought the mx5 because i wanted a car that was a little bit more fun and something that I could generally work on myself because I mean it's not I do do a lot of work on the Ford but um, not as much as I'd like to because it's a newer car and it is my daily and uh, you know I don't trust myself to just go all in on it um, but my MX-5 is going to be a bit of a project car for me and I also brought it because it's rear wheel drive and I really really want to learn to drift and um, I have not got there yet I've not really given it much of a go unless you count gravel because um, I've given it a go on gravel but that's just for fun so since I've had it I've not really done much to it all I've done is added a roll bar harnesses and bucket seats and fixed it up a bit so it needed new like pipes and hoses and there's a couple of things that have gone wrong with it as well so it's also had a straight through stainless steel manifold and exhaust with no cat in it um, because I actually blew the exhaust I blew a hole in it but it was definitely going anyway when I bought the car. So I bought the car really cheap, it wasn't in great nick, so it needed a lot of looking after. And I'm in a really good stage right now. So yeah, I'm gonna show you around the car now and go from there. So my MX-5 is the 1.6 Mark One Japanese import, uh, also known as Yunos or Minata. So it was produced in 1993, so it's one of the earlier models which is really convenient because it means that the exhaust emissions are actually exempt on that year of car, um, for the imports anyway, which is 
really helpful for me in the UK, especially with my manifold and stroke for exhaust. So not much has been done to the end UK. There's obviously been a stroke race um, along the top, which the previous owner actually did, and cone air filter and the heat shield around it. And the pipes have been upgraded, but I think that these might need changing again, actually, because I have been having problems with this one, particularly leaking. So they might just not be that great of quality. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting, actually, because I do want to either turbo or supercharge this car. So this is going to be a great video for me to look back on, actually, and see where I started. And I'm really excited to show you guys what I decided to do with it. So um, my car is the, I believe it's the limited edition um, model that they brought out because of the red interior. Unless, say, somebody has added that red interior into my car since it was made. I don't know, but um, that's just going off my guesstimates. that clip of me um, trying to drift slash donut. He actually jumped in the car and I just did like some really sick donuts. Vouch for me here, Jack. Yeah, that did happen. They were it really good. Um, but obviously, you know, I, I thought I'll give this a go, record it, and then when Jack got in the car, I was like, right, I need to smash some good ones out now he's in the car because it's good for Obviously, I didn't record it. Well, Jack didn't record it because he's my cameraman. You wouldn't have seen anyway, you would have just seen us screaming in the car. But hey ho! Okay, so I'm going to find a nice little car park, seeing as we've lost all of our light now, and go through my questions on Instagram. I'm hoping I've got a whole bunch more from you guys. I'm hopefully none of them are too stupid, but we will soon find out. So I will see you there. I was just asked you to like record this because I wanted your reaction more than anything. So, um, one great thing to know about MX-5s, if you anyone was curious, they are actually the perfect fit for these bus shelters. some questions on Facebook and Instagram. I've picked out my absolute favourite. I obviously can't get through them all because there's so many of them. 
and we'll go from there. So what's it like having two cars? So having two cars is absolutely amazing. Um, it means like that I'm not putting too many miles on them both and I really love that. Obviously it's double the tax, double the insurance, but I've been driving a few years now and my uh, no claims bonus uh, is really quite handy to me right now. I'm also able to reflect my no claims bonus onto this car, so that's really, really helpful. Um, but yeah, it's the best thing in the world being able to wake up knowing I'm going out and being like, oh, which car should I take today? Obviously this one is absolutely fantastic for the hot weather because I can put the roof down and I just absolutely love that about this car. Okay, next question. Why a Mark 1 and not a Mark 2? That is a really easy question to answer, really, actually. I totally like both the cars. They're both pretty similar. Um, but it's definitely the pop-up headlights that do it for me, uh, 100%. The next question is... Let me have a look. When's the turbo and welded diff coming? So I do have somebody, I know a really good friend of mine, who can weld my diff together for me. Um, so that will be done at some point. However, I think that I might learn to drift before I weld the diff. Because um, I met someone over the weekend who's a really good drifter and he said if I learn to drift with my standard LSD I will be a better drifter for it so I think that I'll do that um, and go from there we'll see how I get on anyway and maybe maybe I'll weld it sooner I don't know as for the turbo I'm still debating whether to turbo or supercharge it I don't know which one I want to do yet so if you guys have your suggestions feel free to comment below and tell me what you think I should get um, say in the weekend I went to the turbo MX-5 and I did really like it although I do love the sound of the superchargers as well so I just can't quite make up my mind yet but um, I'm gonna have to make it soon because I want to be doing it soon um, is it turbocharged just answer that question what's it like to own and drive an MX-5 so I mean I love it to bits, I've only ever owned my Ford and this car so I haven't had a massive amount of experience apart from I drove like a Corsa when I was learning to drive um, but I do absolutely love this car, I feel like I'm really falling in love with Jack cars, I also absolutely love the fact that it's rear wheel drive, it's so much more enjoyable to drive um, than the Ford I'd say, I love my Ford for luxury and for long journeys it's absolutely amazing and obviously it looks amazing. So, happy with my Ford but in regards to driving experience and how much I enjoy driving this car definitely tops it. Um, somebody asked me what my favourite mod on my MX-5 is. Obviously I haven't done that much to the car yet but I think it will have to be the Takata harnesses. I have always always wanted a car with harnesses. I know that probably sounds crazy but when I first started driving I kind of only I just kind of didn't think that I could have that I was like only like you know race cars have to car harnesses and harnesses in general so as soon as I got this MX-5 I knew exactly like I just knew that I wanted to car harnesses and I knew that I wanted them to be bright green because that is the way that they are most well known and most popular for so they will probably be my favorite mod and I'm probably gonna get some more green stuff in the car purely to match them okay I think that is all my best questions that I picked out. There's a load of random questions on here actually with regards to what gear stick am I getting in the car. Um, I am going to change my gear stick because this one absolutely sucks and somebody's asked me if I would change it for my car for a red one. You know what, I'm really not a fan of red cars to be honest with you. Like I quite like a black and white civil car or maybe like a deep grey it totally does it for me. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave you with that for the video now. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover. I will come back at some point and give you an update on this car because I will be adding bits to it, building it, and I'll probably record my progress with regards to modifications and whatnot. If you can think of any awesome ideas that I could do to this car, please comment below and let them let me know because I just. I really want to make some more videos for you guys and I want to know that you want what you want to see. Also before I go I'm just going to shout out Primo Stunts, the people who gave me this t-shirt. They are down in Devon and they are just an awesome bunch of friends that I've recently met. I travelled down there and they let me into their group and they're absolutely fantastic. They have 
and Instagram and Facebook and everything so I will drop all them links below my video because I'm brilliant like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. Have a lovely rest of your day.